a few reflections on the 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The title that I have chosen to these reflections is Lord, Teach Us to Pray. Often we are at the crossroads of our lives. The paths in front of us happen to be narrow and unclear. In such moments of our lives, what keeps us going is the tremendous trust in the Lord. When you have deep faith in the Lord, you may ask from the Lord whatever you are seeking with your hearts and hands open. Anything that is prayed with tremendous trust and confidence, God grants what we need in spite of our unworthiness. The liturgical readings of this Sunday overwhelmingly support this idea. I have three points. The first one is prayer of Jesus, prayer to God. The beautiful prayer that Jesus taught to his disciples, our Father, is the most widely used prayer by every Christian. Every day we recite this prayer. It is so close to us as breath to our lungs. The prayer of Jesus puts us in peace and tranquility, confidence and trust, love and compassion. Without the prayer of Jesus, we are nothing as Christians. It is a prayer that completes all our wants and needs, desires and longings. God draws us close through our desires. A short prayer but rich in meaning and deep in, in its content. With the prayer of Jesus, we go to our triune God with our, hand, with our needs and aspirations. The mystery of prayer is a living, a loving relationship as beloved sons and daughters with their Heavenly Father. Our prayer is a pure gift made possible by the Father in Heaven through the Holy Spirit of His Son. The prayer of Jesus brings us closer to God, indeed in communion with God. We know God because of Jesus as Himself says, Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. John chapter 14 verse 9 Praying our Father is like talking to someone who is dear to us, very close to us. Therefore, there is no hesitation while praying our Father. From a small child to a senior most citizen or person, prayer goes to God with a simple yet the profound prayer of Jesus. This prayer of our Lord contains everything from praising God for what He is, to ask for food to our mortal bodies, courage to mend our relationships through reconciliation and forgiveness, and the capacity to do His will, thus we are able to overcome all that is evil and self-destructive. The second point, persistence and perseverance in prayer. Having given the prayer of our Father to His disciples, Jesus gives them a narrative incident to help them to understand the kind of faith and trust one must have while praying. Jesus teaches them not really about getting what they want or getting it right, but about drawing closer in a relationship to God who brings us energy and life. Jesus insists that the fruits of our prayer may not be instant and ready-made. Instead, they might be slow or on the way. If your own friends is slow in getting or granting your wish, then based on your persistence and perseverance, He would grant your wish immediately. Being a disciple of Jesus in prayer means being a person of perseverance and patience, faithful and sincere to Him and His call. Honesty is the foundation of good discernment, a collaboration with God, a participation in the abundant life God wants to give us. The father of our faith, Abraham, he too had a similar experience with God. For his faithfulness and sincerity, God makes a concession and listens to him, even though God had planned his wrath on the land of Sodom. As we hear in today's first reading, Genesis chapter 18, verses 
20 to 32. God is indeed patient and listening. When we go to God with all our humility and lowliness, God listens to our cries of the heart. As the psalmist says, Lord, on the day I called for help and you answered me. Psalm 138 verse 3. There is no need of unnecessary fear and trembling when we go to God because he is our father. The third point, promised and prompt gifts in prayer. Jesus insists that we pray and pray ardently and lovingly. God has a road map prepared for me. Jesus does not stop at teaching a new set of words. In fact, he suggests a new attitude altogether. Today's reading on how to pray ardently helps us to put our focus on God and God alone. Saint Ignatius of Loyola in his spiritual exercises tells us that God speaks to us through our debased desires. Naming our desires before God is an honest prayer. God wants us to ask, seek and knock about those desires. The soothing words of Jesus are indeed comforting. And I tell you, ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. And the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Luke chapter 11 verse 9. With the words of Jesus, even the hopeless and faithless gets his or her faith back. The above powerful words of Jesus overcome all sorts of evil and destruction, diffidence and insecurity. God deserves for us the best things and gives them in abundance. In fact, Jesus says, God will give even the Holy Spirit which will govern our lives to be faithful to Him. Receiving the Holy Spirit is the ultimate gift of God to our lives. Because the Spirit of God will lead us to eternity from all that binds us here on this earth to be truly the sons and daughters of God. Therefore, we must inculcate within us a beautiful willingness to listen to God and accept God's responsibility to make the best decisions for us. In other words, we, by allowing God to take control of us, then we take control of ourselves and lose everything. A few questions for our reflections. In today's reading, the disciples asked Jesus to teach them how to pray. Have you ever asked the Lord to teach you how to pray? What did you learn from the request? The second, how does this image of God as a loving father who cares and dares for us reflect in your experience? The third, prayer is a long, loving look through conversation, sharing, presence, persistence and perseverance. How has been your prayer life in these days? Let's conclude these uh, reflections with a short prayer. Gracious and loving Father, I give you thanks for you with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. When I called you, you answered me. You built me up and strengthen me. Help me, Lord, in those moments when I, when I walk amid distress, fear, anxiety, and struggles of my life. Protect me from the anger of my enemies and those who don't wish good for me. Grant me peace, joy, and serenity in all the days of my life. I make this prayer in Jesus' holy name. Amen.